My name is Rick Nielsen. I'm with the Research and Development Department of Tineas Olson, and I'm going to give you a quick run-through of one cycle of our automation system. So this is the feeder system that holds all the samples. Now, while the system is running, I can add some more samples. Now I'll close the door and it'll automatically raise it up to get ready to pick up the next specimen. So keep an eye on the keep eye on the picker system here. Watch it pick up the specimen right here. Okay. All right, got the next specimen. That's going to bring it over to the measuring station where the barcode will be read into the system. Now it's going to measure the width and thickness. It's going to do it three times and take the minimum of those three readings. Now it's going to get the, the sample that has finished its test out of the testing machine. First it'll grab the half that doesn't have the barcode and it'll dump it in the right bin. Now it's going to go and grab the half of the sample that does have the barcode and dump it in the left bin or in the case where the sample doesn't completely break the entire specimen will be put in the left bin. All right, the machine is clear. Now it's going to get the sample that's already been measured and ready to test and place it into the pneumatic grips. goes in the grips, the grips clamp the specimen, the extensometer will close on it to measure the strain value. Next specimen is being picked up. Now if we come over and look at the computer screen, you can see the test is in progress. We have the graph, the live data. You see the specimen has broken. And now it's currently waiting to be picked up and dumped, but it's measuring the next specimen for its width and its thickness. Okay. Now we've seen one complete cycle, but I'd like to show you one last feature. You'll notice there's no plexiglass around here. We have light curtains. So if at any time the light curtain is broken, say if someone puts their hand in there, it will pause the robot. So there's, there's no moving parts if you, if you break the light curtain. And that is one complete cycle of the uh, automation system. It can run anywhere from like nine to 30 hours totally unattended. I'm going to give a quick demonstration of the new webcam functionality in the Horizon software. So as you, can, as you can see here, we have the webcam open, and you'll see there's a live image. Now, when I start a test, it'll start recording to file the video of that test, of what the webcam sees. Now, this is just a standard USB webcam. Horizon will work with any off-the-shelf USB webcam. This is what happens to be on a tripod looking at the specimen. So at the end of the test, which we won't actually run a test, we'll go to a previous test that was run. It'll load the video file of that test along with the data for that test. And I'll just make this bigger so it's easier to see. And now we can hit the play button up here. And you'll see that the, the video is running. 
and it is tracking the data and pointing to the point on the curve in real time as the test runs. Now we can also, if we were to pause that and we were to scroll over to a different part of the test, you will see that is keeping track of the point that you're pointed to. You, show, you will see that the live, live data shows that at this point, it's two minutes and eight seconds into the test, which you'll see the video agrees. It's a little cut off, but it's two minutes and eight seconds into the test. The other thing we can do is over here, we can roll over parts of the curve. It'll show us the data for that point in the curve and it'll show that point in the video for that point of the curve. And so you can, you have the option of storing or not storing a video for every single test you run and it's totally automatic. And uh, that completes our quick demonstration of the webcam functionality. Thank you.